right, number 10 in book one is Allegretto. So Allegretto is gonna have something new called an accent. If you look on the first measure, the first real measure, not the pickup, underneath that note, there's a little sideways V. It's called an accent, and it's gonna be a little bit of a punch for that note. So put that two down, that F sharp on your D string, set your bow, and then you're gonna give them a little bit of a pull. Grab them with your index finger and pull. Now I'll add the first two notes of the song before my accent. accent. Now if you look halfway through measure one, we've got another accent, but this time you have an up bow. So now we're gonna push. Before we pulled, now we're gonna push. So listen to my first few measures. song without the pickup to the next line. So that's how you'll learn this song is with your pushing your pull one line at a time. Um, so if you take a look at line three with the pickup, we've got G string. We haven't played our G string yet either. So we're going to hop our one. So I'll start pick up to measure nine. Hop. And then we got to move our elbow up a little bit, move our hand up, get ready for G string. Here's that spot again. And then you can hop them back and keep playing on the D string. Um, you'll notice that in measure 9, 10, 11, we've got another writ, writ rondo, so we're going to get a little bit slower. And then we've got a fermata, so we're going to hold that E for a while. And then in measure 13, we've got our tempo. Let's go back to the original tempo. We've also got a decrescendo in measure... 11 and 12, so we'll get a little bit quieter as we get slower. Good luck with Allegretto.